What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the instructions for a Fightcade. Now for those of you that don't know what Fightcade is, it's basically an emulator or a service that lets you play online against other people around the world. And you do have to create an account for it and obviously because it is an online uh, emulator or service, you have to sign up. Um, I should say you have to be online. You have to sign up for an account and you have to be online to play these games against other people. All right, so the first thing you have to do is you want to exit Hyperspin and go ahead and create an account by opening up the emulator manually. Now you can also do this on a separate computer. You can just go to fightkate.com and go ahead and sign up for an account that way or you can go ahead to the toolkit and go exit to Windows. And then you can go ahead and go over here to the left to the emulators folder and look for Fightcade. There it is. And go down and open up Fightcade.exe. Here you can click on create an account and that's gonna bring you to this website. Choose a username, password, type in your email address and you'll be good to go. After that, you can come back here, type in your username that you selected, type in the password that you selected and make sure that save password is checked off just like that and go ahead and click login. At that point, it's gonna log you into the service, into the emulator, and you can go ahead and exit out of it by clicking the X that will be up here, all right? So I'm gonna type in my test username here. And that's what you should get. If it's not full screen like that, you can just click the uh, full screen selection here. Okay, guys. So once you're in here, like I said, you can just close right back out of it. And now it will work from Hyperspin. So we're going to go ahead and start up Hyperspin again. And I'm going to go down to Ficade. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay, and then once you're in here, this is basically how this works. On the left here, you have the list of games that this supports. So these are all the games that you can play online against other people. In the center window here, it's basically like a chat. You'll be able to chat with other people that are online here. And if you look here, it says type help to see a list of commands. There's like other stuff you can do in here. And then on the right side here, you have a list of everybody that's online for a specific game, right? So if we choose, let's go down here, uh, let's say Street Fighter 2. On the left, you can see 24, which means that there are 24 people in there right now. So you can click on that one time and then just give it a little bit of time to load. I don't, I'm not sure if this refreshed or not. I think it did. Okay, so these are the people that are in this game right now, right? So anytime you see anything like this, like you have a user on the left and then a user on the right, you can see that's player and opponent. That means they're playing a game right now against each other. If you were to double click on this username here, it's gonna start up the game and then you can actually be a spectator and you can watch the two people that are fighting against each other. So there they are. So it's pretty cool. There's on the right, top right there, you can see that there's three spectators. So three people are watching this match right now. All right, so uh, right now I'm using my mouse. If you have an extension or a tank stick from X Arcade, you would use your trackball to make all these selections. If you're using the Xbox controller, the right joystick acts as a mouse and then the left trigger acts as your left click. So now if I want to exit this uh, section here, this match that you're, that you're a spectator on, you can go ahead and hold back and start like you normally would to exit an emulator and it brings you back to the main section here. Now, if you want to uh, if you don't want to be bothered by anybody, you can always check the away box over here. That way nobody's going to challenge you. Otherwise, at any point, somebody can challenge you to a match and then you can say yes or no. It'll pop up right in this section here. And if you want to challenge somebody, you just go here, you double click their name and you can see that it says challenging engine. So now if he accepts, I'll get a notification and then we can go ahead and, and, and fight against each other. 
All right, so that's how you do it. You double click on that on anybody's username. You can challenge them. If they're side by side like that, that means they're already playing a game against each other and you can just be a spectator. If you just wanna play the game in here, just against the computer for whatever reason, you just double click your own name. So I'm fight me 1984 in the score one. So I would double click my name and then I would just be playing against the computer. See over here, I'm being challenged by different people. So I can accept or decline their challenge. So let's say I hit accept. The game's gonna start up. If this pops up ever, you just have to double click both of these and do allow access. So I'm gonna do that for both of these right now. And there you go. Now you would fight against this other person. Now I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. By the way, if you guys wanna make this full screen, you can just go over here to video and go to toggle full screen mode and it gets rid of those borders there. Sorry guys, for some reason doing that made my screen capture stop recording. So yeah, you can just uh, full screen it by, by doing what I showed you. Hopefully you guys saw that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, not much more to know here. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, if you have the, uh, the Xbox controller, like I said, the right joystick is to move the mouse and the left trigger makes the selections. So you would go over here, uh, hover over accept, and then click that left trigger to like, let's say accept that challenge or over here, anywhere you would normally left click with a mouse, you would do it with that left trigger. And of course, on your extension or your tank sticks, you, you have the left click button that you can use. All right, so like I said, these are all the games that are supported over here. And then once you guys are done playing and you wanna quit, same thing, you hold back and start at the same time. And it would take you back to Hyperspin, which quit on me because my screen capture was freaking out before when I made the um, the game full screen. But instead of taking you here, you would obviously go back to the uh, Hyperspin menu once you hold back and start, or you press the exit key on your tank stick or extension. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.